When you come from a family of 16 siblings where um, you are the first in your family to graduate high school and go to college, it made me realize just how transformative having opportunities to education made my life. In order to be free, you need to be financially independent. In order to be financially independent, you need to have a job. And in order to have that, you need to be educated, be able to see the world. A lot of problems in life are education problems in disguise. The issues of health, in poor countries are often issues of a lack of information or education. It's hard to achieve when you're in an environment and a culture that doesn't care about education. I grew up in a community where many young people only thought that their options were prison or death. So many children in institutions are full of energy and initiative and potential but it's never realised because they are denied access to an education. When I was 15 years old, my brother Andre was shot and killed in Philadelphia. I remember being pulled aside by my principal who said, well, you can either be a victim or you can be a survivor. To realize that even as a young person who didn't have a lot of money or who couldn't vote, I could still make an impact in my community. I was coming from a background where women were trapped in abusive, violent, and unhappy relationships. And I knew that in order to break out of that cycle, I had to gain financial independence. So at the age of 18, I started my own business with only $200. Education for girls is absolutely mission critical for economic growth. A dollar invested in girls will return 130 to 150 percent. By 2030, if we achieve equal access to education for young people, we create a world of empathy. So companies that say, think outside the box when it comes to education, think beyond building a school. Social impact can be taken on by uh, someone who wants to make profit, but make profit the right way. Help not one person, but help them support five other people in their family. So we need skilled social workers and economists and psychologists and doctors and nurses and teachers to be able to solve the problems of the world. What makes the difference between people in life often is not how high they can go, but how low they can go. We should all strive to raise our minimum. The greatest lesson I've ever learned, no one knows one's potential. A day where you don't learn is a day wasted. Without knowledge, we can't do anything. Universities pride themselves that we are producing job-ready young people. That's not the purpose of the uh, education at all. The purpose of the education is to produce life-ready young people.